Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Welcome to my show, and I am thrilled to have in studio today Leslie O'Hare. She's a celebrity interviewer. Welcome back. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be back. And Johnny Rodriguez, owner of Johnny Rodriguez The Salon. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure for both well, of you. I, well, i got to start this off. That I, the salon business, it doesn't get any more personal than the salon business. You tell your hairdresser everything, don't you? Most people do. Yeah. What, what, what's been the secret to your success? You know, I think just trying to be real, um, listening to people, listening to them and um, what it is that they want or what they don't want, and just trying to figure out what um, what's going to work for their lifestyle has been the, the main thing. And then, of course, you know, enhancing your, your skills, honing them, education. But at the end of the day, it's just like listening to people and stepping away from myself as an artist mm -hmm. and jumping in and just being creative and doing what I want to do, but what's going to be right for the client over you know time and time again you know I've been to the salon many times and one thing I really love about your salon is the one-on-one -on -one personal attention that you get why is it so important for you to make certain that when you have a client that come in your hairstylist give them that one-on-one -on -one attention to really get to know them right it's important because um, I get kind of like what I was saying before a lot of times there's a lot of great artists mm -hmm. hairdressers all in all cities now so I tell our staff all the time, it's like it's not just about being the best colorist or being the best cutter. So you really need to um, listen to the clients and the consultation is super important. I encourage clients to come in if they've never been to our salon to come and visit me for a makeover. We can do a consultation at that point even if they don't want me to do their hair per se. But then what we'll do is we'll go through lifestyle, how much time do they spend on their hair, do they have small children, Are they, do they use products, maybe they don't use products, maybe they're allergic to products, maybe they don't know how to use tools or brushes or dryers, there's a lot of things, and then uh, maybe they only have, because of small kids, maybe they have five minutes, maybe they air dry their hair, but they still want to look good, right, everyone only looks beautiful and feel important, so... You know, a lot of times when people come in and they do the consultation for the makeover, even if I just do the consultation and then I guide them to my cutters and my colorist on who's going to fit, you know, their needs better, their schedule, their budget, I'd totally promote that. But we sit down for a good 15, 30 minutes if we need to, and we're looking at their hair, the products that they're using, the regime, and if all they can do is air dry their hair, then that's okay. We're going to make sure that they're going to get the best style and color and cut, you know, that fits their their personality, their lifestyle, their look, their facial structure, their head shape, their, their texture of hair. It's very so important. that's what, um, yeah. you know, that's, that's where it all kind of like separates us from other salons. We've got some uh, video that we pulled from your website, so we're going to show a little bit of this while we talk about you. You're, you're really on uh, a world domination tour because uh, you've expanded. We have expanded. This is uh, we're at a year now that we've been in Plano, Legacy West. Mm -hmm. It's been a, a wonderful location. We have our partners up there, uh, Lily and Patrick, uh, along with my wife and I. Wow. So they've they've been a huge asset, and just the fact that we have a team that God's blessed us with at both locations is been amazing. It's very talented, very customer service oriented. Uh, the shopping center up there is great. Our lovers' location on Inwood is, you know, amazing. Uh, they support the neighborhood, everyone that lives around there. So it's it's been a, a great joy to build our business here. I've got to believe that if you're going to locate anywhere, there are like three towns in America where people really care about how they look: mm -hmm. L.A., yes. Miami, and Dallas. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't leave New York. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it, what's uh, in terms of uh, keeping your clients happy and coming back year after year, uh, what is the, the secret there? 
I think it's uh, consistency, right? You want to be consistent. You want to deliver uh, what you promise to the client. You want to be transparent. Again, anytime we do, even if we're not doing a makeover, it's not your first time in the salon. You've been coming to us for five years, 10 years. I have clients for 20 years. We always sit down before we get started and we do a consultation mm -hmm. because maybe you had a dramatic change in your life, maybe you're retiring, maybe you're looking for a job change, maybe all your kids graduated and you and a husband are about to start your next phase of your life. life. There might be a time and a place in your life that you're ready for something different. Mm. So it's just about being transparent, always asking that question, always being on for the client life. and making sure you know where they are at that point in their life. Because the haircut you were working on before maybe was easy, you know, when they had too many kids. But now that they're kid-free and they're retiring and they're going to travel, they want something a little more sophisticated. You know, lots of different reasons. Maybe she wants to get a little more sexier haircut than she had before. Exactly. And that kind of leads me to my next question. Um, you have so many different amazing services. I know you have the Lash Lift mm -hmm. Massage Therapy, the Brazilian haircut. What... How do you, how are you able to really stay up to date with the trends because you really do that with your salon? I guess it's important. I think nowadays we know everyone has access to the internet, mm -hmm. right? Social media. Right. So you, if you want to be the best at anything you do, you have to be aware of mm -hmm. all the new services. We are huge on education. A lot of our staff and the young apprentices that are coming to join our team, right. they come to us because we have ongoing classes year-round. All our vendors come in. We have people that travel and train our staff to travel all over the world. Right. Uh, one of our Brazilian artists that certifies in our salon in Brazilians travels to Asia. I mean, we've got teams of artists that have you know worked really nice. in in uh, South America and the UK. So. Again, treatments, keratins, Brazilians, you know, makeup, all those things, you just have to stay on top of everything right. and continue to train your staff. How yeah, often yeah. does somebody come in with a celebrity magazine and say, say make me look like Brad Pitt? <laughs> all, all, all the time, all the time. We even keep the... You're like, I'm not God, but we'll try. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, not a, it's not a one, right? That's what, that's what you're talking There's scissors and a comb and a, and a, and a brush, but... Exactly. And a color bowl, but no, no, not a... Will you talk a customer out of it if they want to do something dramatic and you know that that doesn't work for their face or their body type? Definitely. I think that's one reason, you know, we encourage, uh, like I said, if, if someone's looking for, you know, the whole makeover, they want to come and interview the salon, do a, a consultation and an in-depth consultation. Right. Because sometimes maybe a younger stylist mm -hmm. may not know how to tell the client no. Right. When it's like, I have clients tell me all the time, it's like, you know, well, I can never wear my hair short or I can never wear it like mid-length or I can never have layers. And I disagree. Right. I think there's, there's looks in all shapes, you know, length, short, mid-length, long, there's multiple shapes that men and women can wear, right? right? It's, a, it's about having the right haircut and the right style for that person. And again, are they, are they using products mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, the right products, the right tools? So the magazines, I don't, I, a lot of people don't like them, but, you know, it helps, it helps you understand what clients want. Or where they're coming from, right. and then you can talk to them about like, hey, look, like, we can do a variation of that, but your right. hair is completely different. Like maybe she has hair for five people, mm -hmm. you have three strands of hair on your head, <laughs> so that might not work, right? It's not but work. I can I can work with what we have here, and if you're gonna you use the right products, get the treatments, you know, and then maybe we can meet in the middle. We're somewhere in the middle. Yeah. There's always a happy medium. And I think when you explain it to clients in that respect, mm -hmm. and that's where the experience comes and in. And the honesty. Yeah, the honesty. Yeah. You have to be. Yeah. But you're the professional, right? right? I mean, and a lot of stylists, they're just like, oh, yeah, you want the haircut? Great. I'm going to do the edgiest haircut right. that, um, you know, whoever has, you know, Gwyneth Potro has right now. Right. We're going to go ahead and do that right now. That's what you want. I can do that. Right. And it's about, for me, it's not about us just shining and how great the haircut's going to be. It's like, is it going to be the right, right style and cut and color for that client? Okay, now, when, you, when you're in the hair business, you can't go out and have a bad hair day, can you? You personally. You know what? I love I love I love the Sachi beanies. So my clients have given me a hard time lately. They're like, so should we feel good about coming into the salon and you're always wearing a beanie? I'm like, hey. I was like, so I have a little bit I have a little bit of leeway there, but you know, really, now to your point, I can't. Yeah. So so my staff's really. So I don't know why my staff starts sweating when they have to cut my hair. <laughs> 
you know, one thing I really, really like about you as a business owner, as, as a person, you truly do care about your clients. You care about making a difference in their life. As a woman, when we go to get our hair done, mm -hmm. uh, we want to leave differently than how we came in, even just from an appearance standpoint, yes. but also from an inner perspective. Uh, standpoint and one of the things I would like to ask you what is your I got it moment it's a life lesson like a legacy you want to leave behind because I do think every time coming into your Dallas salon or your legacy West salon I in, in, in knowing you as well you have that connection so what is it that you want to leave behind even for your clients it, um... what, what is your biggest life lesson from starting this amazing company I mean, not to be long-winded, I guess the main point is just uh, making sure that mm -hmm. I utilize... When you say the main point, that's M-A-N-E, the main, no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's a good one. That's, that would be secondary, right? <laughs> that's a like secondary main secondary. point? You know, um, I think right now is the main thing is as a, like a Christ follower, as a husband, as a father, as a, as a hairdresser, it's like... I just have to be true to the skills mm -hmm. that, that the Lord gave me, yeah. and I think that's impacting people. Mm -hmm. And the gift that He's given me to do that is are my ability to cut hair mm -hmm. and listen to people. But if I step back from all of it, it's just about the impacting people. And you know, when I was working for my uncles at a at an eight dollar haircut barber shop um, years ago, that was thirty one years ago. Um, I had a lady that, and we did men and women, you know, I mean mainly men and children, because it was a barbershop. So I had this lady that didn't speak any English, she was from Japan, showed me a picture, you know, in the magazine. Wanted a bob, so I cut off like five inches, gave her a bob. When it was all done, she stood up and looked at me and she just started like tearing up and bawling. I was really scared. I was like, wow, what did I do now? And she just walked over to me and she just said thank you. She couldn't speak English, but she said thank you over and over. At that moment, I realized, that it wasn't just about cutting hair and being like an architect of, of a shape, but it was about impacting people's lives. Yeah. So when, you do. yeah, if you can make someone, and if I can continue to do that till the day I die and make people feel better about themselves, you know, especially women, empowering women, right. helping them stand up for themselves, believe in themselves, you know, we have my daughter, my wife, my partners. I mean, that's what it's about awesome. for me. What a great interview. Uh, Johnny, we're going to put your website up okay. uh, so people can get a, in touch with you. And you have, uh, again, two locations. Remind everybody where they are. So our first location has been there now 12 years. Under our name is uh, Inwood Village and Lovers mm -hmm. and Inwood. And it's right next to Campisi's across from uh, Inwood Theater. Yep. And then our one-year-old in November location in Plano, so our second location, is up at Legacy West. Outstanding. Well, thank you so much. Thank and Leslie, you. thanks really again. Yeah, yeah, you. Thanks for thank helping with the interview. It was wonderful. Honor to come back. Thank, thank you so much so for much. having You're me. You're welcome. I appreciate awesome. it. You're welcome. All right, that's, that's it for now. We'll see you next time.